Alrighty. Hey, everyone. How's everyone doing? It's been a little while since we've done one of these. I um, want, want to make sure everyone wishes Marshall congrats on his, his big wedding. It's definitely where he's been. Um, I hope everyone's been doing good. And uh, definitely not been silent. If you guys have been paying attention in the Discord with the release of the Alpha, I'm very excited for myself and I'm sure Marshall is as well. So we're going to kind of bring the overall discussion around that today and uh, hopefully be able to give you guys more of a insight to the actual platform with a little bit of a tutorial slash you know introduction to how things are going to be moving so with that uh marshall it's good to see you and i'm um, glad to have things back and going yeah me too I'm glad to reconnect here and do another one of these videos definitely so just starting off um first off i just got to say it, it really excites me to see something released because in all honesty i've been with this project for so long and you know the predecessors of this project that the overall confidence and for, from myself, my perspective of is an actual platform is something going to actually get released. Mm -hmm. In all honesty, uh, it's always been kind of low because it, it's, like I said, been, been around this for so long. And then in the crypto space overall, yeah. this is uh, sometimes come, come on the short side. And so being able to see something actually released, um, even if it's simple, just an alpha, it doesn't really matter. It's the fact that a, being able to keep to a uh, scheduled date of a release is, is massive. That's a big, that's a big deal. I hope people realize that. Um, number two is the, the fact that there is an actual basic bones of the platform. And that mm -hmm. really excites me because it gives us potential and um, really helps, really helps us in overall looking towards where the future of the, the idea will go. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of funny you mentioned that just real quick. Uh, like, so I also kind of felt a little bit of uh, like, even, even as uh, you know, the CEO of Athenium, I've also felt that expectation of, uh, are we going to get something out? You know, it, it's, it's just goes along with uh, anything you're building. You know, do I have the potential to bring something to fruition? Um, and it, it, as you said, it, it's very exciting to finally release something, uh, very encouraging for the project. And, uh, you know, now that we have something available, uh, it's just only going to compound from here. So, yeah, definitely. Um, it's just, it's nice to actually have something to speak to, be able to mm -hmm. go, you know, go to the webpage and be like, this is it, you know, seeing things that we've talked about move forward. So it definitely definitely gives us a lot of perspective, and uh, yeah. it's not just an idea anymore. It's exactly. finally uh, taking a you know a physical form. Exactly. But one of the big questions I do have, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be having overall, is you know with the release of an alpha, whether it be you know a video game, a platform, um, overall, you know what is the expectation that um, we have for the alpha, and what is the expectations moving forward for the overall platform? Yeah, for sure. So for the alpha specifically, the alpha is designed to be for testing and to test every button, every link, uh, see if people can break it. Uh, I mean, obviously with, within reason, you know, um, but uh, the whole purpose of the alpha is to slowly begin releasing different aspects of the platform. So our first portion of the platform is our corporate training. Uh, we do have a, a few prospects that we're talking to. Uh, for corporate training where they will be able to utilize our services or our platform to host their own training content. And in turn, once proof of learning is established and integrated into our platform, those employers would have proof that their uh, new trainees or employees have in fact learned something. Um, so it's going to provide a lot of value there. So as moving forward, uh, we'll release different aspects of the platform. And I'm sure we'll, we'll talk more about that in the, in the coming questions, but um, there is going to be uh, a uh, kind of like a, a, a uh, delayed release of different aspects as we move forward and just continue development. So. Yeah. And um, something that I always find kind of funny about alpha is because it's, it's difficult to actually get into them most of the time because it involves mm -hmm. you researching a project or an idea from pretty much the beginning of the concept. But mm -hmm. uh, the little things of, you know, coming soon, that's, that is exactly what an alpha is. It's kind of showing what is the idea and mm -hmm. it takes time to release all that. But yeah, the whole concept of, 
trying to break it, trying to show issues or, or things that we can, you know, fix to make sure it's more efficient, little things like that. Yeah. But for most alphas, I don't, there isn't always a time timeline. I know sometimes there are, but uh, is there, uh, at least for this one, for, for our alpha, is there going to be something that we're looking for till we determine to move on to the next phase or is it just kind of seeing how we go from here? Yeah, so that, that's a good question. So as far as timeline goes, our, our goal first and foremost is to work on perfecting the product, not necessarily try to meet a deadline. I think when you try to meet a deadline, you get caught up in, well, I have to get this done, but there, there can be times where your quality isn't up to par where it should be if you had spent more time um, truly perfecting something. So as far as the alpha phase timeline, we're expecting this to uh, go through to, uh, to 2020, not till the end of 2020, but um, the beta phase should start sometime in 2020. Um, we do have a lot to release in, during the alpha phase. So there will definitely be more content, more development that is ongoing through this alpha. And then the beta will be just be perfecting every single thing. So uh, there's really, you know, to answer your question, there isn't really a set date yet to complete the alpha. Um, it's more based on the release of uh, development. In all honesty, I think not having a set date actually is more of a positive versus a hindrance only because if you set a date for the next you know, evolution of a project mm -hmm. and you come across major issues and you fail mm -hmm. to hit that date, yeah. you know, that overall might look bad towards people that are you know, either A, investing in the project or B, looking forward to it. So I think to help people understand that the, the way these things tend to work is we need to make sure that what we're designing not only works, but it is running. Because right. essentially right. we are designing it the way we think the uh, the the overall education space should be designed. And so there isn't necessarily a blueprint. So we need, um, we need feedback from people. That's going to be really helpful. So I do challenge people to start posting anything you guys can. Um, it doesn't really matter if it's a, a, a full on course right away versus you know, just a few things that you want to teach or help people learn. But that's what we need right now in order to make sure that everything flows um, really well and that it doesn't you know, have issues with lag time or, or the overall servers or anything like that. We need to make sure people are using it and, and testing it out. So I think mm. definitely a big challenge to the community is start posting content, start trying to interact with people and, and work on your own essentially brand through our, through our platform. Cause that's, that is the idea. We want to see how education moves and how it flows and how it, you know, morphs into something uh, that we think will be a much more efficient system overall. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely something I want everyone to at least try to attempt. That's for sure. Yeah. But um, moving on, I think one of the biggest things that uh, at least myself and a lot of people will ask is, all right, so we have an alpha out. Cool. Mm -hmm. Next steps, you know, would it be, you know, the beta the moving forward. But how, how do we plan to either A, grow the information around our alpha, alpha platform release, or is there an idea to at least, you know, move the alpha forward or at least grow anticipation, grow community support, things like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so obviously one of the most interesting things about our platform is the learning section. Uh, if you've been to our dashboard, you know what the learning section is, and that's where users can upload their own content. That's what's drawn everyone to this project already. Um, so our uh, next set of development will be to release that learning section uh, when we can, uh, while secondarily working on our feedback from the corporate training section. Um, so we'll, we'll be doing two, you know, a few things at the same time uh, with our primary focus being on releasing that learning section um, and then filling out the rest of that dashboard and, uh, you know, uh, making available all of that content, you know, cause we're, we're not just creating, um, you know, just our learning section, we're not just creating a corporate training. Like this is going to be an entire ecosystem that works in tandem with each other. Um, so uh, definitely uh, a lot is m moving. I, I guess you could say there are a lot of moving pieces to this. You know, we are also, uh, I may have mentioned this in the past, we're also looking at a few, um, I guess you would say blockchain partnerships. So pro, uh, partnerships with other projects, we are still considering those. 
Uh, nothing is set in stone yet, so we can't speak to any of that yet. Um, but, you know, we are uh, trying to identify those so that moving into the beta, um, we can begin to really implement those and see how they interact with each other. So um, a lot is definitely going on. Uh, we're in, uh, but the good thing is, is now that we have the alpha, we can begin moving on those, those other systems. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, kind of going on what you just said, speed isn't necessarily important at the moment, only because if anyone is paying attention to the overall space and the technology, uh, A, there's a pretty big crackdown legally in a lot of things right now. So I hope people are paying attention to that, you know, SEC, things like that. But at the same time, so many projects that went with, you know, mass fundraising and speed either in 2017 and 2018 are actually hurting right now. We, there really isn't a rush for us necessarily um, to just push stuff out. There's a little bit of, a, you know, us trying to get things moving uh, definitely in a, in, a, in a good direction, but we got to make sure that things are done correctly, the partnerships are done correctly, things like that. Mm -hmm. Overall, I mean, we want to make sure that everything is efficient. That is the overall goal. Mm -hmm. And so we'll, we'll have to see where things go from there. But, well, something I really would like to do, and I'm sure everyone wants to see it as well, but I would love to run through the, the platform just for a little bit kind of give a, at least an understanding of some things. Um, if you have any insights to why things were done certain ways, that'd be great. Yeah, for sure. So let's, uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to share my screen here. And uh, just let me know if you can see my screen. Yep. All right, awesome. So I'm just going to show everyone as if they were starting out on our website where they can find our dashboard in our alpha platform. So if you're on our website at ethediumchain.io, you'll actually find a link up here in the navigation bar or right here in the header. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and just click the dashboard and you're going to immediately see all of the work that we uh, are building towards behind the scenes. So the first part of our platform is the corporate training. Uh, we briefly spoke about that earlier uh, in moving you know, further into development, we'll be releasing the learning section, uh, hopefully next, uh, because that's, I think that's something that everyone is just looking so forward to and releasing their own content and partaking in courses and stuff. Um, but, uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and go into the corporate training module and it's going to take us to the corporate training. Uh, let me see. I got this in the way this okay so if you're logged in this is what you'll see every time you enter the corporate training section uh, if you're not logged in you'll actually be viewing this screen and so this will be kind of like the home page now just to clarify for those of you who are design freaks or who are wondering why there isn't a whole lot on here um, patients this just released we're not too focused on the design just yet. We're more focused on the functionality and the uh, uh, the flow more than anything at the moment. Um, so we do have some pretty cool tools here for us. So you can already see some available courses, um, courses that will be coming out in the future. But the one we do have immediately available is Perfect Tan Corporate Training. Uh, Perfect Tan is a business owned by Brian Dement, who is our CMO. And uh, he has uh, provided to us training content just to showcase what the corporate training module can do. So we're just going to go ahead and enter that corporate training module for Perfect Tan. And you can see there are different modules here that you can take, uh, just starting off with the first one. So, you know, let's say, uh, you know, you are a large corporation, you have 500 employees, you're actually going to have a ton of modules here. This is for the perfect team corporate training. This is a, a more simplified uh, training course for the time being, you know, it's more bare bones. Whereas further down the line, a company may have 20 modules that you need to walk through. Uh, and you may even have different sections uh, of corporate training where, you know, you're, training specifically for HR or your training for uh, finance or something like that. Uh, but what's great about this is it's really smooth. 
uh, this, uh, this platform is really smooth, it's easy to use, it's pretty straightforward. So just going in here, you can view videos, uh, and you know, if you're testing out the platform, you can actually watch this video where Brian introduces Perfect Tan and talks about the brand. Um, so that, that's pretty cool. And then if you're logged in, guests can't access quizzes, but if you're logged in, users can access quizzes. And then you can um, take these quizzes and see uh, how well you perform. Um, wait, what just happened? Did I not hit continue? Or did I hit something else? Need to enroll in this course before you attempt this quiz. Well, apparently I have not enrolled in this yet. <laughs> Uh, but um, I thought I enrolled in it. Hello. Uh, am I going crazy? Hey, well, I mean, that's something I like, the fact that a... So, like, yeah, so, like, the, the whole point of the alpha is making sure, like, you know what you're doing. Like, apparently I don't know what I'm doing yet with it. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, so just some cool little things is, uh, you know, you'll be able to earn badges on it. So like if you're a first time user, you'll have a badge. If you've completed a course, you'll have a badge. Uh, and it just kind of provide that self incentive, like, oh yeah, I collect all my badges and stuff. Like that'll be pretty cool. Um, error, cannot view grades. So what's really helpful is just going through all of the links and just seeing what you can find. Uh, let's see here. Um, I mean, you can also go in and edit your uh, preferences. You can edit your profile. You can upload a picture. As you can see, I've uploaded mine. Courses. Where's the enroll button? I, um, maybe I have my own feedback. Maybe we need to actually have a button that says enroll to make it easy, right? Yeah, that's what I like though. That's the purpose of an alpha is people are actually getting to see right now that there are always gonna be design falls and sometimes we have to find those live. Mm -hmm. Yep, and so you can see there'll be announcements here for any corporate training employees. If you go to training course two, nothing is there yet. You cannot enroll yourself in this course. That's rude. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So I could have sworn I'm already enrolled in Perfect Tan. I don't know why it's saying I'm not. Um, now, I did take this quiz already the other day. And so maybe that's why it's not letting me take it. And it's just throwing a general error. Let me try to take a quiz to, you need to enroll in this course before you, oh, I swear, okay. Yeah, that's gonna drive me nuts. I'm gonna have to provide feedback to our developers. Uh, but anyway, so this is just kind of like the overview of the platform so far for the corporate training module. Uh, you know, you will have notifications here uh, once they arrive. You know, you can actually chat with other members who are part of the corporate training modules. Uh, as well as, you know, once we um, go to the learning section, like this kind of functionality will also be there as well. So that, that's also really cool. And then calendar, if you have any upcoming training you need to be a part of, it will show up here once a, and you can even sk schedule stuff as well, like Marcus and Marshall's video. Like I haven't, I haven't tested out the calendar yet. Um, type of event user show more so there's a lot of different stuff you can actually add you can type the location description on video you can put the meeting for duration that's kind of cool repeat weekly so if we save that and it shows up here on the calendar and you can click that hopefully Tells you what time, use your event on video. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Delete event. It's all very smooth too. It's a nice interface. They, uh, uh, they did a really good job making this pretty look at, like 
most most things you see in alpha oh man they're rough um, <laughs> and i'm just really thankful that this isn't rough manage subscriptions yeah it's um something that i'm noticing right now uh, after you're going through all of it is i think the reason i like it so far is it's familiar it, mm -hmm. it has um an overall ui that flows really similar to what you're used to using you know whether it be on youtube things like that or you know, mm -hmm. the overall internet kind of has a nice simple look which is easy, easy for us to at least get feedback on but also for people to start testing that's interesting so you can actually import a calendar that's pretty cool update interval never sweet private files you upload private files if you want to dashboard so let me see for now we do have it to where online users are visible uh, within the last five minutes um, but we are considering taking it off just for privacy reasons and uh, everything that goes with that site home. Uh, we do have a chat room, which is pretty interesting. So let's say for you're not allowed to enter the chat. Well, that's just rude. I thought I could. It's too bad. I wanted to chat with somebody. I want to chat with you, Marcus. <laughs> hmm. Those links didn't work up there. But anyway, uh, yeah, so if you're watching this video and, um, you know, you are looking to uh, help us out with the alpha and, you know, test it out, give us feedback, that actually be really appreciated. There's so much work that needs to be done for this to make, as you can see, like I had trouble trying to enroll or make sure I was enrolled in that class and it wouldn't let me take any quizzes. So that's stuff we need to work through for this. Um, and any, anything you can find, uh, you know, little, little errors like that, we, we definitely appreciate it. It goes a long way uh, so that, you know, we're not going into beta and we find that problem or even into the final release uh, of the 1.0. So uh, very helpful, definitely appreciate it, so. Yeah, it's, um something really interesting overall the fact that again getting to see something and play around with it but um, the only way that we know how to move things forward is again this is a community-based project uh, mm -hmm. always has been and i hope it really does remain that way so we do need constant input we need people constantly testing it and again i can't stress it enough we need people to start really trying to put content out there um, just really helps us see how things flow but it also sees how an organic ecosystem will will grow Cause that's mm -hmm. ideally what we want to do. I don't, I don't think that any of us want to force stuff. We want to see how things interact and make sure things are run smoothly. Yep. So it definitely gives me, uh, you know, again, great optimism moving forward. I'm really excited. Just uh, hope everyone really helps, uh, helps us out and, and pushes in and move forward. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. But um, with that, uh, I don't have uh, too much more from my end. Uh, I'm really trying to get back on a, a weekly basis of these. I think they're great. Um, we'll just keep building upon these. I'm looking forward to doing more interviews with other people. And then hopefully we have a, a larger group chat, with some of the other members of the team where we can mm. kind of do more of a, uh, you know, whether it be a 30 minutes, hour long, just kind of us talking. It doesn't have to necessarily be about the project, but I want to kind of give people more of an insight to who is behind everything. Um, I'm mm. real big about you know, being open and showing the team, things like that. Yep. It's awesome. So, uh, with, uh, with that, you have a, a great, great day, sir. And I look forward to the next one. Awesome. Really appreciate it, Marcus. All right. hope everyone has a great day as well. See you guys next time. See you later.